Kelly Clark, Independent Sensi Consultant here. How's everybody doing? Um, I'm super excited about today's video because in the mail today, I got my scent testers for the um, brand new fall winter 2018 catalog coming out on September 1st. And um, I'm going to give you my first sniffs today and let you know what I think of all the great new scents that are coming out. I'm super duper excited about um, the scent testers as well because um, with the new catalog Scentsy has a Disney collection coming out. This is brand new for Scentsy and I'm a big scent, uh, Disney nut and a big Scentsy nut too. But um, the uh, new line also has some exclusive Disney fragrances as well so um, the collection that I got does include that today and I'm so excited to see what Disney's um, scents are going to smell like from Scentsy. So anyway, in um, my order today, I didn't order all of the um, catalog products yet, um, but I did want to get the catalogs. Um, so I got those in the mail today, a big old package of the catalogs, and I'll be able to read the scent descriptions in the catalog for you guys too, and then give you what my opinion is of each of the scents. Um, I'm assuming in this big bag here is all of the testers. Um, Sensi in the summer months will send their wax in these bags with a little cool pack just to make sure that you don't open a box full of um, melted wax and stuff. So, because that wouldn't be great. Anyway, so a little bit crinkly here. As I open this up, yep, there's a little cool pack that's all melted now. And I ordered both a set of the transition mini testers transition meaning that there are still some scents that since you will um, carry over from the spring and summer to the fall and winter um, but these are the ones that are either coming back or are brand new so that's what these are and then I ordered a pack of the new tester sizes it's actually kind of like a mid-range size um, we used to have the bigger ones. I don't have an example in front of me or I'd show you. Um, but they decided to come out with this great um, mid-size one that is easier to carry around to parties to share with people. And um, you don't necessarily have to get the mini testers because these can kind of, they're like a go-between. You can put them in basket parties. You could use them for your testers for your home parties, however you want to do it. So this is my transition set of the and testers as well. I also, in this, I ordered a license plate frame. I was excited about this. I want to start advertising on my car a little bit more. So um, I love purple and I've been hoping for something like this and they finally came out with it. So this is going on my car in the morning. Anyway, um, I'm going to pause this video for a moment because I just thought about the fact that I'm sharing the new sense with you guys but they're mixed in with the returning scents as well. So let me pause this, separate those, and then um, in just a moment, I'll come back and share the brand new, new release scents that are coming out on September 1st, okay? Okay, so I separated everything out. Um, there's just a whole lot of scents coming back and transitioning over and stuff, so um, I'm really dedicating this one to all the new scents that are coming out, so I had a chance to go through and separate all my testers. I'm ready to go. I'm going to save the Disney ones for last and start with just the, the new release scents. Um, but here's a little peek. I don't know if I showed it earlier um, of a catalog and they feature the new Disney stuff on the cover, which is kind of exciting. And um, I'll be read the descriptions. Um, but here's the new release page in the catalog. And there's 15 new fragrances coming out, and then there's also eight Disney scents. So this will be kind of a lengthy video, but I'll try to go through them pretty quick so it's not too crazy long. Um, but anyway, oh, and there's also one kids fragrance, um, new kids fragrance as well. So um, all sorts of fun new stuff coming out. So without further ado, let me start going through these scents for you guys. I'm just getting my, my page open so I can quick reference the fragrances. I'm not going to read them in any sort of order either. All right, so the first one I'm going to pick for us to go to sniff is um, Farmhouse Fur. And Sensi's description of Farmhouse Fur is fur needle and cedarwood gets some pink grapefruit pizzazz. So I'm guessing this is going to be a woodsy one. It's a nice um, kind of olive green color. And it's definitely, it's a woodsy one definitely for sure. It's a good Christmas tree smelling one. Um, that grapefruit is nice in it too because it kind of gives it a little... A little tang, a little zip to it, a little brighter. 
Um, this would be a great one to have if you have a warmer right by your Christmas tree over the holidays. I think that would be a really good one for that. So that is a farmhouse fur. Yes, I'll try to go through these fairly quickly. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how to twist these caps on these new ones on because the first one was a little tricky, but we'll get through it. All right, so the second one, apple cherry strudel, and it's a beautiful red wax. I'm in my room filming this tonight. I don't usually do it in here. I usually do this in my family room, and the bedroom light is directly above my bed, and it's really terrible lighting in here, so I apologize if like my face looks super shiny and things look really funny, but I'll try to give you the best interpretation of the wax colors as I can. All right, so apple cherry strudel is Granny Smith cherry and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. So, okay. And I like to kind of rub on the wax here, kind of release the oils a little bit more. It's a light one, but I get more of the apple than the cherry. And it's got a little butteriness to it. It's a kind of a good bakery scent if you like the bakery ones. It's kind of like a little fruit pie kind of fragrance. I think this one will be nice. I like anything with apple in it in the fall. So I think this will be a really nice one going from um, summer into fall because it's got that cherry in there too. So um, apple cherry strudel. It's really nice. I like that one. Um, I'm excited to warm that one actually. So I'm going to put that in my like pile. All right. So next we've got blueberry pancakes. If you can see that color there. Um, it's kind of like a bluish purplish in the light of my room at least. <laughs> um, okay, so blueberry pancakes. It says feels like Sunday morning. It's just a little, little note at the top there. Blueberry and butter accord over light maple make the mood. So I'm going to guess this is going to smell like breakfast. Yeah. yeah, totally a blueberry pancake. You can smell that maple goodness with it too. Um, Different than blueberry cheesecake because it doesn't have that kind of creamy, cheesy smell to it. Um, the maple really comes through in this one. So I really, this is nice. Yeah, this will be a good Sunday morning. It's a good morning one, good kitchen scent for you. Um, it's a sweet one. So if you like sweet ones, this is a good one too. So blueberry pancakes. So next I've got um, breakfast blend, which I'm going to guess is going to smell like coffee. Um, it's a nice brown color. And Breakfast Blend says, Get buzzed on the pure scent of rich, just-brewed coffee. And I'll tell you, when I opened the bag, they had all the testers in it. I got a whiff of coffee, so um, I'm guessing this one's a pretty pungent one. Or potent, you know. Maybe not pungent, but... And this is, this is, this is like a strong coffee. Um, this is kind of like that Cafe Cubano, if I remember the name of it correctly, from when they had the... Um, the Havana collection when that came out. This is very similar to that, but not as um, not as strong of a coffee scent. That one was a really strong. It wasn't one of my favorites. This one I like a little bit better. And um, if you mix this with like um, like a sugar cookie or something, or like a dulce de leche, if you have that laying around, um, it might sweeten it up a little bit. But it's a really nice um, morning coffee smell. That's a really good one. So breakfast blend. All right, so next I've got Perfect Peppermint, and that is a good old white wax color. So, And Perfect Peppermint is cooler than most. Pure Peppermint is the popular kid you'll love to love. So if you like mint scents, this is probably going to be a good one. And this is a really good, just like those, um, the red and white peppermint candies over the holidays or at restaurants and stuff. This is exactly that. Um, I'm hit or miss with mint scents, so um, I'll have to see how this warms because sometimes the mint is just a bit much, you know, depends on the, the, um, the scent, but this one's pretty nice. It's not too overly, like, sting your nose kind of a mint. It's real mellow, real creamy. Um, so that's a nice one. So perfect peppermint. That's a good one. All right, so what else do we have here? Okay, um, lavender cotton is our next one. And it's a really pretty lavender color. Go figure. Lavender cotton. And the little comment, you know, again, they have these little banners on a few of the scents here. This one says, feels like a meadow stroll. 
So the scent description is find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. All right. It's a laundry scent. It's very nice. I think the daisy really lightens it up a little bit, so it's not just like a straight, either a straight cotton scent or a straight um, lavender. This is really pretty. It's a little powdery. I think this would smell really nice in the laundry line, so maybe like a washer whiff will be in our future in this one, but I like this one. Yeah, it's a really clean, this would be really nice in a laundry room or a bathroom. So, lavender cotton. That's a really nice one. I like that one. Okay. So, the next one is Christmas Cactus. And it's a real pretty kind of this grass green color. Christmas Cactus. Um, Sensi says, agave nectar and citrus trim Siberian fur for a new kind of winter wonderland. And this one's different. I can smell the agave. It kind of sweetens it up a little bit. Yeah, it's like the fur. It's got that little bit of evergreen to it. But then it's that citrus and the agave just brighten it up. I would imagine this would be like what Christmas in Arizona smells like or something like that. You know, like west side of the country. I live in Michigan, so we are all snow and Christmas trees and whatever. But um, this is pretty too. Very clean. Very um, herbal. I think this would be really nice um, in a kitchen or a bathroom. A real fresh scent. So this is really, really nice. And I wouldn't necessarily say, I mean, Christmas cactus, the Christmas I think is really misleading because it's not like a holiday scent. Um, yeah, that citrus and the, and the agave, it's just, it's very fresh with a hint of evergreen to it. So a Christmas cactus. I like that one a lot. It's probably my top two right now. All right, so Autumn Heart, and this is another new one, and it's a real pretty, like, brick red, almost brown color, and it's August. I'm not ready for fall yet, but I have a feeling by the end of smelling a lot of these, I'm going to be changing my mind pretty quickly. I love fall, so I'm just, you know, I'm trying to soak up the last couple weeks of summer here. Autumn Heart. Cue up a classic. Apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. Okay, apple and cinnamon for sure. Definitely fall. We'll see how the tonka goes in there too. That's a that's a nice fall scent. That it's apple cinnamon. Um Yeah, it's like apple cinnamon with like a little something something going on. And I'm guessing that's the tonka. I like tonka bean and stuff, so it's it's got like a good like a like a smoky or earthy note to it. So it's not just apple cinnamon, it's not like just a bowl of potpourri apple cinnamon. This is really nice. I'm excited for the seeds. Yeah, Dad said I would get excited for fall with this one, and I'm definitely getting excited for fall with this one. So yeah, that's okay, number number one right here so far. Autumn hearth. Excited for that one. Okay. So next I've got cozy cardigan. And this is like a real pretty pale pink color. And Sensi says, and this is another one with a little tag at the top there. And it says, uh, feels like a night in. Find bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. Okay, let's see what this one is. Yeah, this is kind of like, if you like, um, if you like satin sheets, this is going to be a good one for you. It's got that kind of powdery scent, um, like powdery amber. Um, the rose is real subtle in it. Um, this is a nice one too. Like it's powdery, kind of like satin sheets, but not as powdery because I think that the suede and the, um, the rose really kind of tone that down a little bit. This is a really nice bedroom scent. Very romantic, very, um, this is very nice. This is a pretty scent. So, um, Cozy Cardigan, that's a great one. All right, so another holiday one, Snow Place Like Home. It's a real pretty pale blue color. And since he says, Snow Place Like Home, stay in and chill out with cool mint and the accord of fresh air. So another one that's got a hint of mint to it.
it's like an aquatic mint scent. It's you definitely get the fresh air. It's like Atlantic air with mint sprinkled in. See, these are not, there's some different ones this time where I really like this. This is one of those like the peppermint. The perfect peppermint is one that I I'll, I'll warm it. I probably won't love it. This one I think I'll really like because it's that subtle mint kind of in the vein of like an Eskimo kiss, but not sweet. It's more, um, it's got like a salty air, aquatic kind of scent to it. This is nice. I'm excited to warm this one too. Wow. Okay. So this is going in my like pile too. All right. Snow place like home. That's a good one. All right. So what else do we have? We have red cedar and sage and Red Cedar and Sage, it says run free through Red Cedar, Sage, and Fresh Forest Green. So another evergreen one. And this one's a little different than um, that farmhouse fur one from earlier. This is almost kind of like a muted, like an army green color. And this is more like woodsy, like, like campfire woodsy. I think it might be the cedar for sure. It's more cedar. Cedar's just got a definite scent to it. It's really nice. I like that. Um, it's almost like a little cologne -y, but not. It's like a woodsy cologne, campfire-y, you know. Maybe not so much cologne. I guess I was kind of jumping the gun on that one. Kind of reminds me a little bit when you lay the cedar chips in your landscaping at the beginning of summer. Like that kind of smell to it. But a little more um, evergreen than that too. So this is nice. Um, it's a good holiday one. Good Christmas tree scent. So red cedar and sage. Alright, so we up next, Grandma's Orchard. And that's another kind of like brick red color. And Sensi says, Grandma's Orchard is discover total tranquility in fresh apple wood and Anjou pear. So ap apple wood, not apple, and Anjou pear. Yeah, this is more pear than apple for sure. This is good. It's kind of an apple-y pear scent, but... I guess the it's it's woodsy, um, so pear woodsy. Not like a cashmere pear kind of scent. It's a little. It's not as sweet. It's not too sweet. Um, like a slight hint of apple, a little bit of wood scent to it. More pear than anything else. This is a nice fall one too. This will definitely get you in the mood for fall too. So, Grandma's Orchard. Apparently, Grandma likes her Anjou pears. <laughs> All right, so next one, I've got Winterberry Apple Tea. And this is kind of like a real a deep plum color. And since he says for this one, winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. Okay. The honey's the first thing I smell. It's a sweet one. Ooh, I like this one. Cranberry and apple are always good. The honey is really sweet. And then the tea is just kind of like a background note. This is a, this is my number one so far. Winter berry apple tea. That's a yummy one. Sweet and fruity and good. I like that one. All right, porch pumpkin. So here's a true fall one, I'm guessing. And this one says, feels like pure fall. So, oh my gosh. And I didn't even read this ahead either. I promise you. It says, feels like pure fall. It says, take to the top step with fresh picked pumpkin, uh, acorn, and autumn air. Sorry, a little stumble on my reading there. So fresh picked pumpkin, acorn, and autumn air. Yep, this is just a nice pumpkin smell. Like a pump, yeah. Yep, and I get that. I, I don't necessarily know what an acorn smells like. I'm thinking more acorn squash, but 
Yep, like warm pumpkin and just like a little bit of like outdoorsy scent to it. This is really, if you like pumpkin scents, this is a really nice one because it's not like cinnamony, it's just pumpkin. And then something kind of nutty to it. So yeah, porch pumpkin, that's a really nice fall one. That'll get you in the mood for Halloween and fall. All right, so um, the last one of the new release bunch is um, Palo Santo. I think I'm saying that right. Um, so Palo Santo, it says, Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark, and teak are the ultimate dreamboat blend. Mm, see the char, it says charred cedar, and that's the first thing I smell, it's kind of like a burnt wood, like a firewood kind of smell. This is nice, this is like just a pure woodsy, This is like walking through the woods and stepping on the pieces that have fallen on the ground. Or like somebody takes some stuff and kind of starts the fire outside. This is a nice woodsy one. Ooh. That'll smell nice too. I think it reminds me of like a crackling fire. That's pretty. So Palo Santo. I don't know what Palo Santo wood smells like, but whatever's in this, it smells really nice. And it's almost kind of like a khaki colored wax too. All right, so. The next one is um, the new kid scent, and that one is called Berry Fairy Tale, and it's a real bright, pretty red color wax. And Berry Fairy Tale, and this was the one I know I didn't go to um, uh, Sensi Family Reunion this year, and I wish I would have because it was in Anaheim and it was at Disneyland, and I would love to go to Disneyland and spend time with all the Sensi awesomeness, but. I wasn't able to go this year so but anyway I know that everybody that attended was able to get a brick of this scent here a special edition one so kind of jealous I didn't get that but at least I get to smell it and share it with you guys so berry fairy tale is um, sweet dreams are made of pineapple slices star apple and raspberry so this is gonna be a sweet fruity one yep mm. the raspberry is the first thing I get in here I don't know what star apple is. So it's got the pineapple's real sweet and tart. Just a hint of apple, but it's, it smells more pineapple and raspberry to me. It's almost got a star fruit smell to it. That's why I'm wondering what a star apple is, because star fruit's got that kind of scent to it, and this is what's kind of there too. This is really nice. I like this one. I think my kids will like this one. Of course, it's in the kids category, but. It's really nice. I, just, I like anything with raspberry in it too, and it's just, it's really pretty. Yeah, raspberry and pineapple are kind of my, they're good. I love them. So um, let me take a quick break here, and I'll be back in just a second with the Disney scents. Okay, so what I did there, I just basically moved to my Disney page. I wanted my notes on those scents, and I also wanted to get my mini ears from when I went to Disney a couple years ago so I could wear these while I was presenting these. But anyway, um, so like I said, since he's got a new Disney collection coming out and um, it's in the catalog. So it is not one that like is hopefully gonna sell out too quickly because it's one that they're, uh, they've made part of their catalog line. So it's not special edition, it's just, you know, it's here for fall and winter. Um, anyway, so I'm going to share all the great scents with you and um, let you know what I think because I'm super excited. I've been waiting for these and I'm so glad that the testers are in this bunch here. Um, so uh, as of August 1st, since he released their um, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger Scentsy Buddies and they each came with the um, scent pack of 100 Acre Wood. And so I figured I'd share this one first because it's one that's already kind of been out. Um, for everybody to enjoy if you picked up the Scentsy Buddies. I did not pick them up uh, only because I'm waiting for Mickey and Minnie and those are the ones I want to pick up for myself. So um, September 1st, that's what I'll be adding to my order. But um, without any further ado, I will share the Disney starting with 100 Acre Wood. It's a real pretty lavender color. And um, since his description of it is grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet, cozy vanilla. So let's see what this one is. 
And this is a, it's a real light one. I get the jasmine in this one. It's real pretty. And the vanilla is very subtle. It's not like a sweet vanilla. It just kind of gives it a little creaminess. This is a nice laundry scent, like a cozy laundry scent. Um, you know, great in the laundry room, great in the baby's room. Um, so, you know, since he's coming out with um, new Sensi sidekicks that are in four of the Winnie the Pooh characters. So, uh, and they all come in Hundred Acre Woods. So go figure, this would be great in a baby's room because it's a super cozy, clean, fresh, calming scent. So Hundred Acre Wood. That's that one right there. It's really pretty. Okay, so then I'm going to, since I'm on this page, I might as well do um, Just Keep Swimming. And that is their take on the Finding Nemo, which they're coming out with um, the Little Buddy Clips in Nemo and Dory. So my kids are going to have to get those for their backpacks. And Just Keep Swimming says, When adventure calls, make it an experience to remember as blue ocean mist, cucumber water, and salted driftwood cheer you on. So I'm guessing this is a nice water, beachy, aquatic one, which would make sense for Finding Nemo. Yeah, that's really nice. I like the, I like the cucumber in this. The cucumber kind of... It's a nice, almost like an aquatic spa scent. Yep, very, very bright, very crisp, very, the cucumber's nice. Um, I don't, I don't get so much driftwood, but the ocean mist, it's very salt water and cucumber. So this is really nice. This would be great in the bathroom. I love aquatic scents. They just smell so fresh and clean. It's like a good one to warm after you've done, you're done cleaning your house. So, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I won't sing. I won't punish you guys with that. <laughs> Alright, so now I'll head to the Disney Princess scents. There are four of them. And I've been excited about these because I love Disney. I love Disney anything, but Disney princesses are always fun. It wasn't such a big thing when I was a kid. My daughter went through, through, through her brief princess phase. So, um, I'll kind of relive a little bit of it right here. Anyway, so the first one I'm going to share with you is Ariel, and hers is called, go figure, it's called Under the Sea. And that kind of blurred on you a little bit. And it's a real pretty, you know, aqua color. And for Under the Sea, it says, true love awaits, so give chase and follow your heart across oceans of emerald water, crisp green apple, and blue hibiscus. I don't know what emerald water smells like. Yeah, the hibiscus, it's definitely got a little bit of a floral. It's a tropical, like a tropical apple scent. This is pretty. With a little bit of a, like a watery note to it. But it's kind of like an even split of like a watery scent, a little bit of floral, and a little bit of the apple. It's almost like a green apple. Oh. It says green apple. Gosh, what am I thinking? Yeah, it's not like a like a sweet apple. It's tart. This is a nice one. I could see Ariel like on this one. So, all right. So Ariel under the sea. That's a really pretty one. I like that one. All right. So then we've got Belle, and her scent is called Enchanted Rose, and it's a beautiful yellow color, just like her gown. And it says, write your own chapter. Rose petals, passion fruit, and sandalwood offer endless inspiration to those who dare to dream. First thing I got was the rose in this one. And the sandalwood is really light. It's like a sweet rose scent. I'd have to smell this one warmed. Rose is another one of those things, kind of like mint that's hit or miss. It can be either really nice or real kind of like old ladyish. I hate to say that, but um, and the and the passion fruit, yeah, the passion fruit gives a little like a sweet tart scent to it. So 
I'm making a face because I'm not quite sure on this one. So I will pick the bar up of this so I can warm it at home and experience it warmed. But um, this one's okay. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not shutting it down yet. So um, that is Belle Enchanted Rose. And it says Enchanted Rose, so you knew that it was going to be in the rose scent. All right, so Cinderella's scent is Happily Ever After. And it's a beautiful blue, like her gown. It says, find your fairy tale, complete with storybook ending in a sweet, subtly romantic bouquet of gardenia, forget-me-not, and frosted lemon. So, let's see. The gardenia is the first thing I smell. I don't get lemon in it. And I had... I had a perfume from like Victoria's Secret from when I was a kid and I think it had Forget Me Not in it. And it's kind of reminiscent of that and I like that. It is. Yes, I had a perfume from Victoria's Secret when I was a kid. Okay, I was like 12, but yeah. Anyway, this is pretty, real floral. And it's, it's a nice springtime floral scent. This one's really pretty. I enjoy this one. I don't get lemon. Maybe maybe that's what's making it not smell so floral, like flower petals everywhere, but it's it, the gardenia and the forget-me-not are real nice in this one. So there is um, Happily Ever After, Cinderella. And then um, the last princess one is Mulan. I guess they're coming out with a live-action Mulan movie, which is kind of exciting. This one's called True to Your Heart. Real pretty, bright, vibrant red color. And it says, believe it, do it, bring this brave heart to life and find your own brand of courage in plum blossom, white tea, and redwood. Mm. This one's really pretty too. It's got the plum blossom, plum and tea. The plum really stands out. A little bit of a hint of a woodiness to it, but... I think the plum is the first, the plum blossom is what stands out. It's like a florally fruity with a bit of a tea scent to it. So that one's really pretty too. Mulan, true to your heart. And I'm going to pause this for just a second. All right, so I keep pausing. This time I paused it because I was checking to see if there were any kids standing outside my room waiting to come in. Um, so anyway, last two Disney scents in honor of Mickey and Minnie. And here they are right here. Those are the Scentsy Buddies coming out September 1st. And they are so stinking cute. I can't wait to add them to my collection. And they each have their own scent in honor of them. So um, the first one I've got is Love and Kisses Minnie. And Love and Kisses Minnie is how she signs all her autographs when you go to Disney World or Disneyland. So that's kind of cute. And um, it's a real pretty pink color. Just like sometimes her dress that she wears. And Sensi's description for this scent is, The sweetest girl is the one you never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. So this one I think is going to be really pretty. Yep, this is nice. I love apricot, and I love vanilla, and I love berries. And this is just a really pretty mix of all three. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's got that little, that kind of peachy apricot scent that kind of finishes it. This is really nice. I like this. So, Love and Kisses Mini. That's a good one for Mini. Alright, and my last scent for this collection of the Disney collection coming out is Your Pal Mickey. I'm picturing his voice saying that in my head. And it's a really nice red, just like his shorts. And that's how he signs all his signatures in Disney, too. And uh, for his fragrance, it says, A forever friend deserves a fitting fragrance, and this sweet but dapper celebration of green apple, orange blossom, and fresh spring air is the perfect tribute. And this one's a nice one, too. It's not as sweet as the mini one. That's not to say that Mickey isn't as sweet as Minnie, but the green apple, again, it's like it's not a sweet apple, it's tart. 
and then the orange blossom I like orange blossom anything with orange blossoms are really pretty it's a really pretty floral for me and then it's just got a little bit of crispness in there too with the free, a spring air so this is a good it's a good springtime scent a little sweet a little fresh a little outdoorsy this is a nice one for Mickey I guess I didn't think I, I didn't really know what I would think of Mickey Mouse a fragrance in honor of him would smell like but this is a good one I think I think he'd be proud of this so your pal Mickey that's a great one so I'm happy with the Disney scents um, like I said I'll have to see what the the bell one smells like warmed but other than that way to go Scentsy with the Disney fragrances I'm really happy with them so um, all of the new release scents outside of the Disney ones are six dollars per Scentsy bar and um, are available in room spray and scent circles as well and then the Disney scents are also available in room spray I'm sorry not in room spray um, and scent circles and scent packs um, all right let me yeah scent circles for uh, the Disney princess and the Mickey and Minnie scents and then scent pack for the Mickey and Minnie scents and for hundred acre wood I believe and then um, Scentsy Bar only for the Nemo scent, um, the Just Keep Swimming. So um, anyway, so yeah, very excited about the new catalog coming out September 1st. Uh, oh, and the Disney scents, they are um, $6.50. There's just a little bit more, probably because of the licensing, I would imagine. But um, so $6.50 for the Scentsy Bar, so just a little bit more for those. And... Um, Yep, September 1st, new catalogs coming out. There's all sorts of really great new warmers coming out and um, new uh, body care products and laundry line. And there's a new um, Scentsy Go coming out that doesn't light up and you can get new covers for it. They call them Scentsy Go wraps. So all sorts of great new stuff coming out. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I thought of the new scents because who doesn't love new fragrances from Scentsy and they gave us kind of their new releases and bonus ones with the Disney collection. So um, if you want to get in touch with me, you can um, visit my website, uh, sterlingscents.scentsy.us and you can contact me through there. Um, please follow me, um, subscribe to my uh, my. YouTube channel and then you can also follow me on Facebook or on Instagram I'm always posting um, the newest latest and greatest stuff from Sensi so with more of the um, uh, new catalog stuff coming up I'll be previewing more and more of what's new and um, coming out uh, on September 1st so uh, I'm always posted on Pinterest as well so follow that so you can see great pictures of the products and um, thanks for checking things out September 1st new catalog and all sorts of new fun fragrances for us to enjoy Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye